Hello and welcome to Geometry Terms. We're going to look at geometry vocabulary that you've had before. I'm sure most of this is review, but we just want to make sure that we're all on the same page with some of these words. So first of all, um, a point. It's an exact position or a place, right? And we'd use a capital letter, so if I was talking about the point D, I would just use this, right? Very simple. A point is just one space, and that just represents a position or a place. The line extends infinitely in two positions, or in two directions, and it's named using any of the points on the line. So like if I was using, if I wanted to talk about this line, this is line DE, or I could say it's line DJ, or I could say JE, any of these two points, but it goes infinitely that way, infinitely this way. A line segment is a portion of the line between two endpoints. So it's where it would stop between here and here, perhaps. There's the line segment. So um, something like this from D to J, for example. And we would say that is segment DJ. And notice I'm not putting arrows on there because it doesn't extend like this one does. Oh, that's an ugly arrow. There we go. Such an artist. Okay. A ray, oh, ray's down here. The, uh, let's do a ray next. A ray is a part of the line that starts at a point and extends infinitely in one direction. So a ray might be everything from here all the way going in one direction. So I might write this as like DE with an arrow in one direction. That means that it's not going in both, it's only going from D to E. A vertex is it's the point where two lines meet to form a corner. What I mean by that is that we've got a point here, and we've got a line going this way, and we've got a line going this way. This point here is the vertex. In this case, let's say it was, this was A, and this is B, and this is C, we would say this is vertex A. Or we could say it is vertex uh, BAC. But really, it's best to say vertex A. That point is the vertex. If you have two of them, they're called vertices. An angle is formed by two rays joined at their endpoints. So if I've got two angles, like this, okay, so I've got, um, or two rays, so I've got a ray going this way. It's kind of what, actually what I made up here, AB and, B and AC. Well, this is ray AB, this is ray AC. The angle that is formed is what's in between them. An angle is named using three letters, so we would say this is angle. We want this to the vertex to be in the middle, so we could call this BAC, or we could call it CAB. Either one of those is okay. Um, <clears throat> so, something like this, I'm not sure exactly why those pictures are in there, but we would say this and this together are angles, or here's a ray, here's a ray, and that makes an angle of 10 degrees. I think those pictures are in the wrong place, actually. Ignore these for right now. Okay, measure of an angle is how wide the angle is. So it's measured in degrees. Oh, these are examples of that, actually. So this is an 80 degree angle, and this is a 10 degree angle. So this is where it should have been. This is why this is a problem. Here's a 10 degree angle, here's an 80 degree angle. A scalene triangle is a triangle where none of the sides are the same length. We can use markings to show that. That this is like a one, and this is a two, and this is a three, that none of those are the same. An isosceles triangle is where two of the sides are the same length, so we would say maybe these two are the same, and that one's different. And an equilateral triangle is where all three sides are the same length. Okay, so there's some basic geometric terms for you.